What's up everyone for the Winitachi here, you know what it is, BlizzCon 2018 is here. I have finally seen every damn panel there is to see from Friday and Saturday. And compared to last year, this is really quick. I, I actually sat down and watched the whole thing just because I I was dying to do it. And it, it was great. It was it was awesome. Um, I got my top five panels. Uh, these are some must-see panels, by the way. They're not like, eh, let's just throw that one in there. It, it's okay. But no, these these were like the top five, and then everything after that, those were the ones that are like, eh, they're okay. They're, they were okay. But these are my top five panels for, for those of you that have a virtual ticket or that are able to see the virtual content um, on the BlizzCon websites. So without further ado, um, I did this for 2017. Now we're going to do it for 2018. Top five panels for BlizzCon 2018. Let's go ahead and get straight into this. Starting off with panel number five. Um, we're going to be going down, so number one is number one, that's the must-see. But, panel number five, um, it was called Inside Blizzard. Now, this was a cool panel, it wasn't really, um, content-driven, it was basically a bunch of dudes and peeps and females and ladies and, I don't know, people that were talking about Inside Blizzard. I, actually, it was actually good, I, I actually liked it, I enjoyed it. They spoke about their jobs, they spoke about what they do, how they got into their jobs, how they got into their careers, how they got into Blizzard. Uh, most of them do work at uh, Blizzard Irvine, but some of them did come from other locations. Um, they talked about their favorite locations at Blizzard. I've actually been there, and if you guys want to go ahead and check it out, please be sure to go ahead and check it out. I have two different videos on it. Um, on this channel, I did like a little tour, um, but it's not really an amazing video. I'd like to go back and do it again and actually film and record i was just kind of scared to do it for don't i don't even know but this was actually cool because i've been there and i've experienced blizzard entertainment and their offices and all the cool stuff that they have there so i knew exactly what they were talking about and to me it was a really really cool panel to just dive on in and to see the background and see the actual people that create the game or the people that actually help the creators create the game like the financing people and stuff like that and customer service and the people that actually hire the people that actually work for your game. So it was actually a pretty cool panel to see. Uh, panel number four. We got Behind Blizzard Music. Now, this is another panel. It's not a lot of information that you're going to be given. Because it's basically just Blizzard Entertainment's music. But what these guys de did. There's four of them. They were on stage. They were doing some mad things that I didn't know it was possible with just four people. Now, I know you can do it on a computer, but these guys were playing legit instruments and getting the Blizzard themes from uh, games like Heroes of the Storm, Overwatch, World of Warcraft, you name it, you got it. These guys did a wonderful job in showcasing how they actually make the music, and uh, yeah, it was pretty cool to watch that panel. Uh, panel number three. Now, I'm actually starting to get... The, the top three were lit. These top three were lit. Um, panel number three was Blizzard's gear. Past, present, and future. Now, I love this because what, what sucks is I want to buy the gear from Blizzard Store. I want to buy some things. I want to buy some cool items. Um, I just can't afford it, so I don't. I try to save my money for things like benefiting my YouTube channel to see if I can help it grow, like getting new games and stuff like that. Um, so I, I started from the bottom and I'm still at the bottom and I ain't going anywhere. So that's that's. This, this panel kind of made me sad because I can't purchase any of it. But anyways, it was really cool. First of all, they had uh, two of the people that work at Blizzard Entertainment um, and their gear. And basically, they spoke about what they do, um, how they come up with creations, uh, basically how they deliver them and all that type of stuff. And how they work with other people in the Blizzard offices on creating the gear. But my favorite part was um, her name, I believe, is Ashley Eckstein. She has a company called Her World or Her Universe. Um, I'm sorry if I don't really remember the name, but um, I just this is the first time I've ever heard of her. Um, I guess she did something. Uh, she was an actress in Star Wars. She has been an actress. But her passion to her brand is really amazing. And I went on the website uh, not too long ago, and it is just female clothing. Um, her idea behind the brand um, was for like geek ish video game ish uh female clothing and um what she does and and the people that actually work behind and with her um are mostly all females too but 
her brand is just, she was just so passionate about the brand and I absolutely loved it. And um, she makes some really great stuff. I was looking at her website. I mean, it was all female clothing, but she makes really great clothes and they look awesome. And she has so many cool ideas. So uh, what was her name again? Oh, Ashley Eckstein. I believe that's her name. I'm not 100% sure. But uh, that was, she was my favorite part of the Blizzard gear, past, present, and future. And then you also got Hasbro and Nerf. And um, a lot of cool other, a uh, couple of other brands that they were talking about. But um, oh, also her universe, I believe it's called. They also have um, male clothing, and it's called our universe. I thought it would have been called his universe, but I guess not. I even googled it, and it's not even a company. So why is it our universe? It doesn't matter. I understand why, but it doesn't matter. It was really cool. It was a cool panel to watch. I mean, there's all the cool gear that they're releasing too. Um. Panels num panels, well, we making that plural, fam. Panels number two, we're gonna be speaking about esports. Now, I'm open to all the esports. I, I'm not watching StarCraft. I'm sorry, that's just not my thing. But that's why I put esports panels. I pluraled it up, fam. And the reason why I did that is because you might be interested in StarCraft, and you might not care about the others, or you might be interested in World of Warcraft, Overwatch. Heroes of the Storm and Hearthstone like me, and not care about StarCraft, but these, there's so much pride and joy in watching this, and Blizzard is, to me, the true people that created esports, so, these are some must-see panels, fam, they're just must-see, and number one, of course, you, you don't go to Blizzard Entertainment and BlizzCon without actually, everybody's there, fam. The what's next panels. What's next World of Warcraft. What's next. I'm not going to talk about that one. What's next Heroes of the Storm. What's next Hearthstone. What's next Starcraft. I'm not putting that other one in there. Because you guys are going to dislike it. Because I put it in there. So yeah. But you know what I mean. Uh, the what's next panels are the best things ever. That's where I got most of my content on from this week. Um, I posted everything about it. Uh, please be sure to go ahead and check it out. And yeah. If you guys got questions. Post down below. Leave a like, subscribe, peace.